Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to make butter pecan ice cream. So if you're interested in finding out how I made this ice cream from scratch, then please stay tuned. So first we're going to need some vanilla extract, granulated sugar, milk, heavy cream, six egg yolks, and candied pecans. So the first thing I'm going to do is separate all of my egg whites from the yolks. And I'm just going to place all of the yolks in a larger bowl. Now once I've done that, I'm going to place a large saucepan over medium heat and I'm going to add my heavy cream, my milk, and a pinch of salt. Now to the yolks, I'm going to add all of my sugar and then I'm just going to whisk that around until it's smooth and a pale yellow color. And this is the color and the consistency that you want when you're done. So now that our milk mixture is hot, we can start to add it to our egg yolk and sugar mixture. Now you want to be sure to keep this mixture in motion at all times because you want to avoid the egg from scrambling. The purpose of this is to make sure that the egg yolk and sugar gets up to temperature with the milk and cream that you have on the stove. If you just add the yolks into the mixture, they'll scramble, so you have to temper the mixture first. Now that we have that up to temperature, we can add it back to our saucepan. And now we're just going to continue to stir the mixture until it thickens up. Be sure to continue to scrape the bottom of the pan and do not allow the mixture to boil. And this is the thickness and consistency that we want. So now I can remove the mixture from the heat. I just filled a large bowl with ice and water. And in that bowl, I set a ceramic bowl. You can use a metal bowl if you like. And inside of that bowl is a strainer. And I'm just going to pour in that mixture through the strainer and I wanna catch any lumps that may be in the mixture. We don't want that in our ice cream. And here I'm just showing you what was left behind. So now over that ice mixture, I'm just going to stir it. And this step is to speed up the cooling process. And I just put my hand up to the mixture to see if it was still warm. So here is the ice cream maker that I have. It's uh, by Oyster and I got it from Walmart for roughly 30 bucks. So once my mixture was completely cool, I just transferred it into a measuring cup so I can easily pour it into the ice cream maker.
Okay, so at this point, now that our ice cream has gotten pretty thick, we can add our candied pecans. And I just took some chopped pecans and added some melted butter and brown sugar. And I just tossed them around on the stove until the sugar melted, and then I let them cool. So you wanna gradually add those pecans and all the drippings along with it. So after I added the pecans, I just let my mixer run for about five more minutes. And my ice cream spent about an hour and 15 minutes total in the machine. Now you can turn it off and transfer your ice cream into a freezer safe container. Now I personally didn't have a container specified for my ice cream, so I just used one of my blender cups. So now it's the next morning, and I just took my ice cream out of the freezer. I'm just showing you how it's set up overnight. So now your ice cream is ready to serve. I just added a few more chopped pecans on top and that's it. I thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave me some comments if you'd like. And I'll see you guys in my next video.